Well, folks, it's Pride Month, and that means it's time for all of the major magazines all around planet Earth to celebrate people who are women pretending that it's a big deal for them to get pregnant because they're also pretending to be men. Every year now, we have the, this pathetic administration, the Obama administration did it before, putting a Pride Progress flag for the month of June, the holy month of June, at, outside the U.S. Embassy at the Vatican. They literally put it out at the Vatican. I, I don't see them doing this, um, by the way, in Saudi Arabia. I don't see them doing it in in any Muslim country, Indonesia, like nowhere. The, the basic rule here is that you can be as nasty to Christians as you want because Christians are actually tolerant uh, as opposed to Islamic regimes, which presumably will send people over to take down the flag. The U.S. Embassy at the Vatican said during the month of June, the American flag celebrates Pride Month. Uh, really, does all of America celebrate Pride Month? I didn't realize that it was like an official American policy that it is worth celebrating. There's a difference, again, between tolerance of people who are doing a thing that you don't particularly like and celebration of the thing itself. Those are not the same thing. No, any durable society is, any durable society for all of human history is rooted in simple, basic biology. Man plus woman equals child. All of it. Heterosexual family formation must be normative in any durable society. Of course, you want to encourage men and women to marry one another and have babies. That is how society propagates itself. These are the functional little platoons that actually provide the supporting basis for society. When you have an entire month dedicated to pride in bucking the norm, into in overthrowing the norm, in pretending that the norm doesn't exist, that society should be apathetic about whether the norm exists, you undermine the norm. And what you end up with is more, when you subsidize the behavior, you get more of it. And when you as a society decide that the norm itself must be destroyed on behalf of toleration, and acceptance, that those aren't enough. You need now celebration. When, when, when you had the norm and then you had the marginalized, and when the marginalized decide to destroy the norm and there's no more norm anymore, what you end up with is societal decline. And that's what you're seeing in the birth rates in the West. We talked about this yesterday. It's really an amazing thing to watch as the United States, American government slaps the Vatican, like the Catholic Church with over a billion adherents directly across the face by flying a pride progress propaganda flag outside the Vatican. They say, quote, we stand with the LGBTQI plus community against discrimination and other forms of persecution because of who they are and whom they love. Again, all of this is is a lie. If you claim that you're a member of the opposite sex, you're not. You're not. We're not celebrating who you are. We're celebrating who you pretend to be. Not only that, when you say who you love, I assume that the left has some restrictions on that. I assume the left is not in favor of, say, incest, for example. Maybe they are. Maybe that's the next step here. But this has to be propagated by the entire cultural Tsunami, as I, as I say, which is why, of course, we have to pretend along with absolute lies. Glamour magazine in the UK now features for Pride Progress Month, a trans pregnant man, Logan Brown. OK, now the normal headline we hear breaking news. Woman gets pregnant because Logan Brown is a chick. Because Logan Brown is pregnant. You know how I can tell Logan Brown is a chick because she's pregnant. You know what doesn't get pregnant? People with no uterus and a prostate. Those are people who don't get pregnant. You know who does get pregnant sometimes? People who stop taking their testosterone long enough to get pregnant in their uterus. Right, that, that would be that. But Glamour magazine in the UK is pretending that men can get pregnant now. So yeah, we, we now have Arnold Schwarzenegger on the cover of Junior with Danny DeVito uh, getting, getting pregnant. So, the, the, and, and we're going to pretend that this is a, we're going to pretend this is a pregnant man. We've, we've broken all bounds of biology. It takes a special kind of company to want to partner with the show. As we've mentioned, a lot of advertisers are very skittish about partnering with shows that say controversial but true things. Well, Pure Talk is not one of those companies. They are happy to partner with us because they stand with our values, which means we're happy to stand behind Pure Talk. They make it possible for me to get up here and bring you facts, logic, and truth every single day. Pure Talk shares my values as well as the values of Matt Walsh, Michael Moles, Candace Owens, Jordan Peterson, the rest of the Daily Wire hosts. That's why we made them the official wireless partner of the Daily Wire. But that's not the only reason. We check the coverage. It's premium. Pure Talk is the most dependable 5G network in the United States. I use it myself. We check the plans. They are top tier, but at a fraction of the cost of other major carriers. In fact, you can get unlimited talk, text, and unlimited data with mobile hotspot for just 55 bucks a month. Remember, you vote with how you spend your money. So stop supporting woke wireless companies that don't support you and switch to Pure Talk today. You'll get great coverage and save while you are doing it. Go to puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Save an additional 50% off your very first month of coverage. That's puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Pure Talk is wireless for Americans by Americans. Support them because they support you. Head on over to puretalk.com dot com slash Shapiro right now. Get a better night's sleep by going to Bowling Branch. So as you know, not getting a lot of the sleep lately. We got baby number four. We're now suffering through a cold. It, it, it's just 
Like the sleep quality is not amazing, except that Bowl and Branch makes it possible for me to sleep at all. So here's the thing. Once you slept in Bowl and Branch sheets or use Bowl and Branch products, you really are kind of ruined for all other products. We've been using Bowl and Branch at our house for years on end. They make the world's best sheets. They make amazing blankets as well. And once you slept on those, you really like, how do you substitute? You can't, which is why we got rid of all of our other sheets, all of our other blankets. We only use Bowl and Branch at this point. Bowl and Branch sheets are made from the finest 100% organic cotton threads on earth. They feel buttery to the touch. They're super breathable. They're perfect for both cooler and warmer months. Their signature hem sheets were made with threads so luxurious that they have been slept on by three U.S. presidents. They're made without pesticides, formaldehyde, or other harsh chemicals. And best of all, they give you a 30-night risk-free trial with free shipping and returns on all orders. You're not going to want to return them because they are indeed incredible. Get a better night's sleep with Bowl and Branch. Get 15% off your first order when you use promo code Shapiro today at bowlandbranch.com. That's Bull and Branch, B-O-L-L-A-N-D, branch.com. Promo code Shapiro. Exclusions apply. See site for details. British Glamour also continued. They actually posted more on Logan Brown. And um, it's not it's not ideal. See, Glamour met Logan two weeks before he gave birth to his daughter, Nova, to talk about queer love, gender dysphoria, and navigating the NHS as a pregnant transgender man. That's a chick who just had her breasts removed. That's all. That's all that's happening right there. And good luck to that kid, man. That is going to be a hell of a life. Meanwhile, Sesame Street is propagandizing to the youth of America. Remember, everybody who pretended this was just about the privacy of what you do in your own bedroom was lying. They were lying. It was about propagandizing to your youth that all forms of sexual experimentation and orientation are equally moral and that the height of your identity lies in where you wish to put your genitals. So here they are promoting it to children. This is Sesame Street. It's made for three-year-olds. Hi. Elmo and I wanted to share that everyone is always welcome on Sesame Street. This month and every month, we want to uplift and celebrate our LGBTQIA plus family, friends, and communities. Yeah, that's right, Miss Ariana. <laughs> From our Sesame Street family to yours, happy pride. Elmo loves you. And I love you, Elmo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, love is love, guys. Now, and that, that forces me to ask what kind of love is happening on Sesame Street now. I mean, love is love, guys. It's uh, Elmo promoting to the young children that uh, boys can be girls, girls can be boys, and all forms of sexual activity are equally moral. The but Little League is promoting this garbage. Little League, like where you send your kids to play baseball. They're promoting this. Quote, here, everyone is included and plays the same game. Hashtag one team, one Little League. Oh, yeah, you got to make sure that all the, uh, all the, the so-called trans kids we, 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 um, we have to make sure that they're all... Ta- of course, they're targeting the kids. It was always part of the program. And the lie that it was not part of the program was the only way that the LGBTQI plus minus divided by sign movement was able to make progress in the United States on their own behalf. They had to lie. Every step of the way, this has been a lie. We just want the privacy in our own bedroom. No, you didn't. We just want civil unions. Nope. We just want same-sex marriage and then we'll leave you alone. Nope. It turns out, nope. It turns out what you actually wanted to do was destroy heteronormativity. Nobody knows what that word means, and so they've been able to get away with it. But what they actually want to do is substitute one entire worldview for another entire worldview and then promote it to your kids. That's what they actually want. And and they get very offended, by the way, if you stop them from doing this. So a tape has now emerged from a teacher's, some sort of teaching event in which a woman named um, Victoria Hunt was talking to teachers in Florida And they're talking about the fear they feel in Florida because Florida says that you're not allowed to teach sexual orientation or gender identity to uh, to kids. And they're talking about how terrible this is. How awful. Here we go. No one is teaching your kids to be gay. Sometimes they just are gay. I have math to teach. I literally don't have time to teach your kids to be gay, even if I cared enough to. I don't. So then why are you protesting? Really? So why are you upset? I noticed you're upset. Why are you upset? You literally say you don't have time to teach them to be gay and that you're not interested in teaching them to be gay and you're not interested in teaching them about it. So then why are you upset that we say that you're not allowed to do it? The rest of the show continues right now. You're not going to miss it. We're going to be getting into the absolute lies that were told by the media on a repeat basis with regard to COVID vaccines with Rob Aurora. If you're not a member, become a member. Use code Shapiro at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Click that link in the description and join us.